this video, I'm going to show you how you can use VictorOps to trigger a job to run in Rundeck to automatically fix, let's say, a service, and then post back to VictorOps so the incident is resolved. First thing I'm going to do is go to my email and trigger an alert. This alert would come from your monitoring system or VictorOps itself. And this says app E is down and critical alert. So I'm going to click send here. And I'm going to go to the VictorOps screen and just refresh it so I can wait and see it on the timeline. Got some of my other tests here below, but I'm going to wait for the right alert to come in. Okay, here it is. There's a app E is down alert, and then it makes an outbound webhook and then back again, and it says uh, resolved here. So restart successful resolving incident. So it was fixed in just a matter of seconds. Now I'm going to show you how to set that up and you know what it looks like in Rundeck. By the way, here in the activity screen it has a log of every Rundeck job that's run. And here's that job that ran, that fixed, and it tells you when it ran. And there's the application E alert information. All right, now to set this up, we're going to set up a webhook in Rundeck. And the webhook is what receives the webhook from VictorOps. So the way you do it is you create a run job here, and then you specify which job's going to run. And I'll show you that in a minute. And then most importantly, you include this payload information in the options so that comes along with it. When you save that, you get a post URL here. And this is what we copy and paste and put into VictorOps. All right, now we'll look at the job in Rundeck. And the job here has a step that you know, fixes the server, whether it's restarting a service or some script, etc. And then we have an HTTP request that posts back to update the uh, alert. So the remote URL is here, and I'll show you where to get this info in VictorOps. We're going to post, and then here's the important part. In the body, the recovery here means resolve the alert. This passes the uh, incident ID so it knows to which uh, incident to resolve. And then we included a message here that says restart successful resolved incident. And the rest of this information here is blank. But this is inside the job. So now let's take a look at the configuration in VictorOps. If we click on this menu here to go to integrations, we can see a list of all the integrations. And these are the ones that are enabled. This email one is you know, what I used to create it. Over here is the URL that we put in you know, Rundeck in that job. So it knows to post it back here. But also, we go back to integrations and we click on this outgoing webhooks. This is the outgoing webhook. Uh, that we created with add webhook and let's edit this or yeah let's edit this so you can see here so this is all the information when you create the webhook it has all this information in it and then this triggers the rundeck job and this is where you take the webhook that we got from rundeck the url and we paste it in here into the uh, the two url and that's what it takes to set it up and automatically solve your alerts using rundeck that's it thanks for watching Thank <laughs> you.